And that isn't even the place where it didn't work right when I was initially testing it as the screwed up part. But anyway, let's try that again, shall we? Here we go. Eh, it was a different time and place. June 6, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe but at this time who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century 50 years later mankind faces its greatest crisis the appearance of a mysterious android life form its purpose and origin are unknown is it a new form of weapon or perhaps an invasion from some other world. They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine, they're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. That sounds intense. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. Mouth laser gonna fuck you up, I think. Why is there so much fire? Loop it in the third! Metal Gear? Random Hajil. Hmm. Random is a good ass name for a person. So yeah, uh, as far as what I know about all this, um, there is uh, what they discussed already, obviously. Um, but uh, I did a little bit of reading, just on some lore type stuff. Uh, apparently, yeah, Hideo, Hideo Kojima is behind this. Uh, there are direct references to the original Metal Gear series 
Um, of course, there is something that's just called Metal Gear. So there's that. We'll meet him shortly. Like I said, I played through just a bit of it, and um, it's a good thing I did, because I had a couple of tech support things I had to do just to get the thing running. Translator Scott Hards. that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia, their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. So here we are, the Konami Omni, Junker HQ. All right, let's get rolling. Let's just walk right in. Fuck it. Oh yeah. Nah, you can let us in. We're good for it. Mm. Fine. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, yeah. Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. All right. Let's 
Let's go visit the chief. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special <coughs> Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Eh, that's enough. Let's leave. Oh, I think he's done talking. Oh, fine. What are my duties? Okay. Alright. Got a mystery on our hands, gang. Are we done? Alright. to eliminate snatchers. Don't kill innocents. Alright. Fair. They're chasing robots around all the place. That seems like a safe job. I bet that's why there's just a whole bunch of leg room around here. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. This is your junker ID card. It will identify right. you as a junker. Good. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I like well, having special see, authority. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. All right. Hey, Chief. Hey. Hey, Chief. Look at all this money. Oh. Let's do these in order, I guess. Take your face at face value. I uh, you know he's drunk all the time, but he's, he's pretty sweet otherwise. Okay. Down here. Oh, 
Ja. Look around you. Jesus, Gillian. What is divorce illegal in Neoko Bay? What the hell's the deal with that? It's like, yeah, me and my wife got separated. I told you that ten minutes ago. It's been a thing for a while. Big deal. Wanna fight about it? I mean, come on. He may be the most awkward man on earth, but you could at least reject him on that. Why little John? Alright, three of five. Seems like the idea is just avoid the plot dump. There's really a desire for it. I'll go back for it later, but... <laughs> An acronym that isn't completely ridiculous. I don't believe it. You can tell it's it's a Kojima piece because there's just walls of words at times. I already asked about them. So quick. Eh. A ray gun is not a blaster. Okay, draw with a C to fire. Oops. 
All right. That should be everything. Back to engineering. Oh, good. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're a uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. <sighs> Yes, you do, Harry. You have something hanging from your nose. It's called a mustache. All right. Oh shit. I'm just wild about Harry and Harry's wild about me. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. <sighs> it's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon <laughs> polymers and ceramics. Right on. Not affected by heat <laughs> one bit. And her air how you doing, Fatal? ...optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear! Metal up. Gear? I hear ya. Thanks for the host! Metal Gear? <laughs> Pretty weird name. Metal oh, Gear? He's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. I still can't uh, believe I that Kojima like wrote Metal Gear into the Snatcher's backstory. Full purposes. I think I asked him everything there. <coughs> Carry me while you run, please. <coughs> All right. Well, we got his back. He's he's good. Kind of cute. I don't know about all that. All right. Uh, oh. 
That's the one I missed. Alright. Hoping once this gets going a little bit, it'll pick up some. I'm assuming it will. I've heard people talk about this game for years. Starts a little on the slow side, but that's alright. We've been there before, right? <laughs> Here we go. I have a video phone call from Jean Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. I've heard good Please things. Hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. This is a turbo cycle. Specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. All right. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. All right, I'm going to save because the first time I tried testing this game, it crashed on this part. So I'm just going to make sure. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna continue. And we're gonna get into this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going home, fuck this. <laughs> now departing for the abandoned factory. Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. The song is so fucking Sega. Like, you can just listen to that, and that, yep, that's a Sega Genesis song right there. You can just tell just by that little. I know, it's just like you gotta cycle through these options. Yeah. Yeah, the art and the setting and stuff, it's all really good. That's a lot of what I was doing when I first was sitting down and testing it. Like, I spent 20 minutes just sitting on the computer reading every lore file so I could kind of get caught up on what's going on. do I need to pick here to get into the building? There we are. Oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Well, at least I won't get as lost playing this, hopefully. Gillian, please use extreme caution. <laughs> I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution.
That is some really good music. I like that. What the? It's little John. Little John? Gonna avoid the obvious joke. Not gonna do it. Well, if I remember right, it should be pretty quickly done from here. Actually, I think I have to... Yeah, there it is. Memory chip. Well, what do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Oh, I can. Well, I'm just I'm just doing it really ghetto by just popping out the chat and using window capture so it's just taking the normal setting for the background unless there's a, a invisible setting OBS. Oh, dear God. Yeah, someone had mentioned there was some OBS setting for that. I just hadn't gotten around to looking at it yet. Color key, or I think I've heard of chroma key. Sounds familiar. This is some fucking CSI shit we got going on here. Oh gee, with all this talking, you can't tell this is a Hideo Kojima game. How would you know? I mean... It's a mystery. Three, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein. 
something? Ah, here it is. Oh, I missed something. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. I'll keep that tabbed up and I'll probably muck with that at some point tonight. scrap of paper. Yeah! VODs. Uh, do you mean like pr previous broadcasts and shit like that? Yeah. Well, I also have a couple people who uh, I, I also upload these to YouTube and they follow prior broadcasts on there because it's a little more convenient to them. Something about the Twitch player not working quite right. I don't get what's up with the sneezing. Metal Gear is breaking the fourth wall.
Alright. I remember this bit. Oh, kind of. There we are. Hey, I specifically avoided that joke the first time you came up. That's on you, buddy. <laughs> I could have done it. I took the high road. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Metal Gear, the fourth wall has been viciously assaulted. Please stop. In my memory, we should return to Junker headquarters. Is the voiceover coming through okay? I'm trying to keep it down when they're talking. We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I am sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. I don't normally do stuff with voiceovers, so... Well, see, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher Manus. Okay. Shake on it. Detective's room, then his home. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick uh, five minute pause, really quick, and then we'll really start tearing into this. <laughs> <laughs> 